Hey everybody, so today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about two of VPNs currently on the market, ExpressVPN and Surfshark. And I wanted to go a little bit into how to use them and what they're about in case maybe you purchase them and you want to learn how to use it better, or maybe you're thinking about buying them and you want to know what they can do. So let's get started. So here we have ExpressVPN and you can see right off the bat compared to Surfshark, it's pretty simple. It has the big button for connecting, so let's click on it and it will turn green to show that you're connected. And here you have the location and you have some shortcuts to easily access your favorite websites. And if we click on this button right here, we will get a list of all VPN servers you can connect to. So in Asia Pacific, here you have quite a few. Down here you have some more continents and you can click on a lot of these. So let's go to Singapore and we can see that within Singapore, you have a few more options. And we can do that for Hong Kong. You can go to Japan and you'll just see more server locations within these places. Now here you have some recommended ones. These might be the faster ones or the more reliable ones. And that's it for the locations. Now, if we go to here and we go to options, we will see some more advanced options. So here you have your startup here. You have the network lock. So this will some other applications may call this a kill switch. This will cut off your internet connection if the VPN ever stops working. So it will always make sure that you are connected to the VPN. And down here you have split tunneling. So that will allow you to decide which apps are actually using the VPN. So it doesn't necessarily have to be that everything is using the VPN here. You can have it that some things will use the VPN and some things won't. Here you have your account options. Here you have some more advanced protection features so you can block some unwanted stuff. Here you have the protocol, you have a few lightweight UDP will probably be the best one, but you can choose automatic and it will choose the best one for you. Here you have your shortcuts. So you can decide whether you want to show the shortcuts and you can choose what they are. So you could just make it a little bit more customized to you and what you'd like to use. Here you have an option for the browser extension and that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's pretty streamlined and pretty simple. You know, it kind of will sit on your desktop or sit on your taskbar and won't get in your way. It will be very simple and very easy. Keep your workflow very streamlined and it will allow you to just know that you have a premium VPN. Your data is safe. Your privacy is secured and without getting in the way, it's really for that person who wants to set it and forget it and not want to have to deal with all of the more complicated features of a VPN, all the bells and whistles, and just wants to know that they are set up with a proper VPN. And if you just love the minimalist nature of Express and you know that that's the one for you, you'll find a discount link in the description below to get you a really great deal on Express. Now, Surfshark, on the other hand, is a really a full blown program. It's a piece of software and you can see right off the bat that there's a lot more going on. So let's break it down here. You have the recommended servers. You have the recently used ones. And down here you have a bunch of locations for more servers, right? If we would click on this button here, we can test our ping and we can see over here listed the ping for these servers. So you can figure out which one may be faster and which one may be better for you to use on the side here. We have the settings that you currently have enabled for your VPN. We'll get a little bit more into these soon. And if you click here, quick connect, it will connect. It will just take a second. And now we have some more options about our connection and we can see some data, some metrics here about our personal connection. And here we're connected to Boston. Now, if we go over to this bar over here, we'll see some more options for IP and just some more advanced features. So if we click static IP, we can choose an IP address that we will be able to connect to one of these places. Let's say Germany, we will remain with the same IP address, which can give faster speeds. It will be good if you need to access websites that need to be able to remember your IP address. You will always have the same IP, although this may come at the cost of a little bit of security because you are using the same IP address. It isn't changing multi hop will allow you two servers. You'll connect to Germany via Great Britain, London. And that will increase your security because now you have two servers that you're going through. So it will make it much harder for somebody to track you down. And this dedicated IP, this is kind of an add on. This will give you your own specific IP address. So 
that nobody else will be able to use that IP. Like if you're using a static IP or these other IP addresses, other people will be using those same IP addresses because they're, they're the VPN's IP addresses. But if you use a dedicated IP, you'll have your own one. And that's a bit of an add-on feature. So now let's go over to the sidebar here and see some of these features. So you have alternative ID, alert, antivirus, and search. These are features that really come as add-ons. They're not directly related to the VPN. And these will be things that will need to be added to your plan or your plan will need to be upgraded to access. So sticking to the VPN, let's go down to settings over here and let's go to VPN settings. So here we have a lot of the same options that we saw in Express. We have the startup options, the clean web. So this will block unwanted things. You have the kill switch like we saw by Express. We have the protocol. You have several options. WireGuard will generally be the best for Surfshark, but you can click automatic to get the best one for you chosen automatically. You have bypasser. This is the same thing we saw in Express that was called split tunneling over there. This will allow you to decide what you want to use the VPN with specifically. You can test your speed. And down here in advanced security, we have three options that Express does not offer. And those are invisible on LAN. So this means that on a LAN network with other devices and maybe you don't trust all those other devices, they're maybe not so secure, you can use invisible on LAN to hide yourself on this network from those other devices. You can use rotating IP, which will change your IP address, even though your VPN location stays the same. So you'll be staying connected to, let's say, Germany, but your IP address in Germany will change. And this could be useful if, let's say, you need to access geoblocked content. You want to have your location be in Germany, but you want to keep your IP address changing for security. You can use rotating IP and no borders. This is an automatic feature that will come on automatically but it will allow you to get around some censorship and firewalls in different places around the world. But you don't really need to worry about it because it will be activated automatically if you need it. So getting back to it, Surfshark and Express are both very solid options. They have different uses and different places. Express, again, is going to be more streamlined and simple for somebody who just wants a good VPN, but doesn't necessarily need all those added features and just want something that will integrate into their workflow easily. Surfshark for somebody who wants to get into what a VPN can do a little bit more. And they're both very good. Surfshark is probably a little bit of a more bang for the buck because it is priced very well. And you will find discount links to both of these in the description down below if you want to try them out. Both of them offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not sure which one is correct for you, you can take advantage of that 30 day money back guarantee to try both of them. Again, discount links in the description and I'll see you in the next one.